Hello everyone, welcome once again in Google IT Help. Guys, today I will tell you how to use Gauge in your JavaFX application. I will tell you with the help of a very simple example that I have created in the NetBeans IDE. So here is the example ready and here is the Gauge. So you can see the Gauge which has uh, some e skin and has some tick marks. We have color and we have this needle this is red color needle and uh, we have a threshold mark here as well we have a text we have the unit also we have title so all these things you can set from the code and you can customize as per your need also there's some animation like uh, once you click here on this button so the needle will set to the new position okay and uh, I have set the threshold value so the needle crossed the threshold value and now the color is changed for this bar so all these things customized from the code so I will tell you how you can do it okay now come here in this example we have one class Medusa gauge for using this gauge class we need to add one jar file I will show you so in the library you have to add Medusa 8.0 jar file and then you can use the gauge class okay and uh, I have given the link of I have given the download link for this jar file so you guys can download and import and set into the libraries okay so now we are going to proceed so here first we have to create the gauge class object okay now come here at line number 48 this is the main thing gauge dot set skin this method is used for setting the skin type for the gauge right now I am using modern skin okay and if you want to change the skin you guys have option so create the new object of other skin like space X skin okay I am going to change it here this is now space X skin and now you have to pass the gauge object here okay and uh, line number 49 if you want to set the title inside the gauge so you have to use this method okay now in the line number 50 we have setting the unit like uh, the gauge is displaying kilometer per hour and meter per second and you want to display the time with the help of needle so you can specify the unit text here also you have some choice to set the unit color which is white color whatever text we written in line number 50 so we can adjust the color with the help of this method set unit color okay guys now moving further at line number 53 this method set value we are using here for setting the default position of the needle right now it is set to 50 so we have given the decimal value 50.00 and now in the next line number 54 which is used to animate the needle position as you have seen that there when i press the button on the state then the needle moved to the position 90 and it was the animated so for setting the animation you have to use this method set animated true okay now moving further at line number 57 if you want to set the value color that means whatever the value of the needle we are displaying it at the center so you can adjust the color of that text with the help of this method at line number 57 okay in a similar way we can set the title color at line number 58 by using the set title color method also we have a subtitle 
so we can adjust the color with the help of this method as well okay whatever the bar we using inside the gauge so we can adjust the bar color here at line number 16 also uh, we can set the needle color with the help of set needle color method and uh, this method is useful threshold value so threshold color if your needle is crossing the threshold point then what will be the color of the threshold that is defined here okay and uh, here i have set the threshold value which is 85 on the gauge okay and threshold visible threshold visible will be set with the help of this method then you have to pass through in this method also you can set the tick level color right now this is set to rgb also the tick mark color we have given white color and this is the set tick level orientation which is orthogonal right now you can uh, use more variation here so all these methods are very useful for customizing the all components of this gauge okay and now moving further in the next line this is very uh, common thing we have a stack pen and all the components we are placing root dot get add children dot add all and setting the gauge on it and after that we have one more button that I have used for uh, changing the needle position okay so come back here so these two components added on the stack pane that means that will be displayed on the stage so first one is gauge and second thing is button and now i have uh, specified the action handler at this place once you click on the button so this action will execute and uh, inside this what we have done we have done the gauge dot set animated true and after that we have changed the value by using this method set value and the decimal value 90 is passed in this method so the needle position is changed from 50 to 90 okay guys now i hope this thing is clear so this is very simple example we have created only one a gauge class after that we have used these methods of the gauge class for customizing the component inside the gauge after that we have added this gauge on the stack pen and i have added one more button on the stack pen okay and now all those stuff added And finally we're displaying on the stage and this is the action handler for the button for changing the needle value okay now I'm going to take a build because I have done a small changes in this example okay now build is successful now I'm going to run and we will see the output here okay guys this is completely changed but uh, previously we were using some different schemes so I am reverting this thing back because this is not uh, looking much cool or familiar okay so I am doing changes here previously I was using the modern skin so I am taking the modern skin so you have to find out more classes more skin so you can use those skin which is uh, more suitable for uh, your requirement so now i have changed this to modern skin now i'm going to take a clean build again okay now it's done i'm going to run it yeah it's back now you can see uh, i will i will describe you each component so the 50 the 50 is here the value of the gauge the initial default value of the gauge now we have a unit 
which I have given uh, km for r and this is the title that I have set cool it help at this place this is the title and uh, we have a needle position at 50 so we have needle color at in red color also we have the gauge this is the gauge and this is the bar for the gauge so the color is set at this place the gauge color where is the, the show value and this is the bar color this is the method is used to set the bar color okay and uh, this is small needle is uh, showing the threshold value that we set at 85 and after crossing the 85 the bar color will be red so this is the threshold color which uh, will be red if we cross the threshold value at 85 now let I will click on this say hello button then it will cross the threshold value now see this and the threshold value crossed after clicking this button now we are on 90 and uh, the bar color becomes red you guys can customize to any of any color of your choice okay guys and uh, this is the tick level orientation right now this is orthogonal or there may be uh, more choices so you guys can customize and you can do more experiment with this code uh, that's why I have given the download link of the same project in the description okay guys so you can download and uh, do more experiment on this same code so guys this was the gauge this is the Medusa gauge and uh, there are lots of skins available so you can uh, do changes as per your need and uh, try it you all i hope this concept is clear to you so guys if you found this video useful so please like share and don't forget to subscribe my channel and keep watching cool it help